Hey guys, Blamadger here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. On the last episode, we took on Top Man and finished off these four capsules. And this episode, we're gonna take on what's below. Well, I can tell you what's below. It's actually straight into a boss fight with Quint. Quint is Mega Man from a peaceful future that was modified by Dr. Wily to fight against Mega Man. His main weapon is Sakugarne, a digging robot that looks like a combination of a pogo stick and a jackhammer. And that is all you need to know about Quint. Basically, all you want to do is keep your distance from him, and when he jumps, get under him, and shoot him in the head. It's a very simple battle. He should not give you any trouble at all. Because <laughs> this is really all he does. Just make good use of your slide, and actually hit him in the head. And he is going to go into your location, so you do want to get a decent amount of distance away from him. Or at least close to your location. And eventually he'll teleport away. And, for our efforts, we will be given... Quint's item, Sakugarne. Yes, we get his pogo stick drill. And it looks just like his did. However, I'm not going to be using it too much, and here we are now at Dr. Wily's spaceship because we just defeated his castle. Yes, once again, Dr. Wily retreats to a spaceship, and apparently Rush can turn into a mixture of the jet and the marine. I'm not sure how that works. And we have Dolly's clock in the background. It's, it's actually a really neat looking level. Uh, unfortunately, it uses the same music from the last stage, which is a little disappointing. Oh boy, that was... that was jerkish right there. Oh well, at least I know it's there now. So, jump over to the right, onto this weird clock block. It's a clock block. Yep, that was a tricky spot right there. Uh, there was an E-tank up there, but I don't really need it. Uh, unfortunately, unlike... The Revenge of Dr. Wily, your weapons do still stay drained between stages here. So it's a good idea to fill them up a little bit here. I'm just gonna skip past that, Hamma Joe. I do love the way the stage looks. It looks really, really cool. I like it a lot, and it, it, it does fit with the uh, ridiculous time travel theme of the game. And that Met just wandered off to his doom. Whatevs. Not my problem to deal with. I had a feeling that screen was going to have birds on it. Anyways, once again, we have a place that Rush Marine is actually required for. Yeah, when does that ever happen in Mega Man? Rush Marine required? Jeez. Alright, so I can jump out. That's good. And what am I going to fill up here? brush coil. Never know when I'll need some more of it. Well, I might need to fill up my rush marine soon. 
But I think this is the last uh, Rush Marine section, really. And it's already over, so... We'll see how it goes. Oh, great. These jerks again. Ah, oh, I hate these freaking monkeys. And we're going vertical. And I believe we're actually required to use Rush Jet here. Oh, no, there's a block. Never mind. Oh, what should I fill up? Ah, uh, Rush Jet. I love you. You are so awesome. And speaking of awesome, isn't this room right here just awesome? Man! What an awesome room! You gotta be careful around those spikes, though. It's very easy to kill yourself on them. I'm not going to wait for that guy. Oh man, screen with birds and those lightning dudes. Get me out of here. Anyways, guess what guys? We are at the end of the level. What could be waiting for us here? It's Dr. Wily, and look at how ridiculously tiny he is! Oh man, it is hilarious how small he is. Well, you have two options here, and for this phase, yes, it is a multi-phase fight. This is Dr. Wily, after all. I would recommend just mega-bustering it. And I am going to use an energy tank, because I don't want to... I have to redo this. Oh man. And that does it for that phase. And he's actually got three phases, I believe, but this time, I'm going to use Sakugarne. Ah, well, that wasn't good. Maybe I shouldn't use Sakugarne. At least not when I'm low on health. This is actually not too hard. Just slide under him when he jumps, and then position yourself so that the bomb goes over you, and watch out for the missile he shoots along the floor, and when you can, take a shot at his head. I'm going to go ahead and switch to Saku Garnet here. It's fun to mess around with, but it's a good way to get yourself killed. Oh well, I'm out of Sucker Garnet. I did want to show it off though, and that's how it works. This stage is a little bit harder, just because he's got more going on. 
And now we go on to the final phase. It's like a weird, wily dinosaur mech kind of thing. I don't even know. But I'm going to use Rush Jet here to make my life a little bit easier. To at least get a lot of pot shots off on him. Apparently the skull is what I'm supposed to be shooting this time. Or at least the top of it. Anyways, that does it. Wily is defeated. And he runs away! He's not begging for forgiveness this time. Oh, oh, Mega Man's shooting a missile. Boom! Direct hit. Take that, Wily. Now, there's actually a lot wrong with this scene, but... Wily doesn't die, so I guess it's alright. That's it! We beat Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. And now we get to enjoy our credits. Oh man, that is a Japanese name if I've ever seen it. Wanan. With three A's in it. Ham Joe. Mega Man 2, I think it is the easiest of the uh, Game Boy games that I've played so far. Uh, the only ones I haven't played are 4 and 5. I hope to play them soon, but I don't actually own them yet. Um, if you want to try out a Game Boy 1, Mega Man 2 is the one to do it with. Definitely. And yeah, it's actually kind of fun. I, I do enjoy playing this, even though this is only the second time I've actually played it. But you know, whatevs, whatevs. It's a fun game. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the same credits music from Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge. I could be wrong, but it sounds like it to me. I mean, I did just play it earlier today, although you guys probably got to see that Let's Play like a month ago or something. Uh, one of Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy's biggest problems is the sound. I don't know why, but it just... I guess it's just the instruments they use, but my god, it sounds terrible. And the only track that I really like from Mega Man 2 is the title screen track. Go figure, huh? Yeah, that's Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. Ah, moles, I hate those things. Luckily, we only saw them in one stage, so that's good. Was it one stage? Maybe it was two, I don't remember. Baton. I always thought those were just called bubble bats. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And... Yeah, I'm going to leave you with whatever's left of these credits here. And I'll just say this has been Let's Play Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. I am Blamager, and I'll see you guys next time when we take on Mega Man 4. See you guys then.